Hi, I'm Carrie Beck with HowToTeachWriting.com and CurriculumConnection.net. I'm here to talk to you about integrating history and writing together. Taking your writing and putting it into real life subject areas. The book I want to show you today, or the writing guide, is Ancient History Writing Lessons. What they've done is they've taken teaching writing structure and style and the nine units that they have for that foundational product and base them on ideas in ancient history. Let me just get to the um, table of contents and tell you a few things. We talk about keywords and we talk about the ziggurats um, in the Sumerians or the Epic of Gilgamesh. Summarizing references, they have uh, writing assignments on the pyramids, the Sphinx, putting it all together, all about Egypt. And you'll notice it's chronological. It's starting with the ancient world. It actually starts with the great flood of the Bible. Then it goes to the Sumerians, then we have Egypt, then we have narrative stories, and we're going to pick up some ideas in Israel, in ancient Greece, some of the myths, the Trojan horse. We move on into writing critiques, and that goes in more of Greek mythology, and how do we critique an ancient Greek myth. Then we have research reports, and we're going to move on into ancient Rome and study the Olympics and a three-part series on ancient Rome and then writing formal essays and reports moves on in ancient Rome, five-paragraph paper, putting it all together. Finally, we're going to keep moving to writing pictures, and there's pictures of persecutions of Christians during the Roman time period, and then creative writing about Greek and Roman gods and a very different life, which is basically a personal essay. In the teacher's manual, you'll notice that they tell you step by step what to do. Let's get to the beginning of one of these. So we have lesson or sentence openers and they're going to give you an explanation of the assignment of the lesson you're going to teach your kids. They're going to give you some sample exercises. Here's what I like. Each one of them gives you a whiteboard. So as you're writing things on the whiteboard, this is a sample of what you would be using so your kids can uh, see what's going on. And then they have a vocabulary exercise. That's a vocabulary game. This is some more vocabulary ideas for this exercise. Something about tickets and using those. Um, so you see each one of them is written out exactly what to do for the teacher. In the back you have some vocabulary quizzes. There's some uh, explaining what the tickets are and the game and having a big party at the end of the year and coming up to an auction. And then it gives a list of proofreading marks. When we come to the student book, this is something each student needs their own copy. And it's going to, let's see, here's lesson four sentence openers. It's going to speak as if it's writing to the student and it will give them ideas that they will need to be looking at while you teach your lesson gives them the assignments, number step one, two, three, and four, gives them their resource and their keyword outline. Remember, the teacher got a white box to tell what that was supposed to be. And then here's the coolest thing, and kids love it, a checklist. When they check off every box here, they know they are done with their assignment. No more nagging mom or teacher saying, don't you want to add a little bit more? No, we have a checklist so that we can take care of that. And they know exactly what's expected and how many points they get for each item. Then it moves on to the next lesson. In the back, there's some cool appendixes. You get all your stylistic techniques, your dress-ups, your sentence openers, your decorations. And then we go into band words and prepositions. Remember, prepos you got to start at least one sentence in every paragraph with a preposition with quality adjectives, strong verbs, L-Y, we want to include an L-Y word, an adverb in every paragraph, and then five census word. Then finally, they also get a proofreading mark and a list of the vocabulary cards. If you didn't hear my other uh, video, each lesson has four new vocabulary words. There's a picture here, and then on the back, we have uh, the definition, a sentence that it could be used in, and similar words. Now, it's each time they learn words, they have to start to use those words in their writing so they become who they are. This whole thing is based on ancient history, and it is one of the coolest ways to integrate writing into another subject. Only one lesson plan. Here it is. It integrates both of them. You don't need to be writing a separate lesson plan. Writing should be a part of every subject. Why not make it a part of your ancient history studies this year? You can go to the website listed on this video, pick up your own course, and be started wonderful course. You will love it. Your kids will love it. I'm Carrie Beck with howtoteachwriting.com and curriculumconnection.net. Thank you so much. Have a great day.